a quick video comparing these two micellular waters. I have the Bioderma and we have the Garnier. And I'm just going to go over like the differences and what I've noticed. As you see, my Garnier is actually, or rather my Bioderma is actually empty. I still have a pretty full of the Garnier. Now, Bioderma, um, they are the ones, I believe, who actually invented the whole micellar water um, thing. And it was actually developed because of the super harsh plumbing that um, they had to deal with in France, in Paris. And that's why micellar water was developed for washing the face. Now, the differences between these two are very slight, but there is a difference. And the Bioderma allows me to wipe less. It almost as if the Bioderma does more of a dissolving action, whereas with this, it's sort of, um, rather than dissolving, it kind of like wipes things away. And they pretty much are the same. They're very similar. But I would say that the Bioderma does work slightly better. The Garnier is really great too. For me, they're pretty interchangeable, but I think that um, this one is a little bit less uh, than this one, and I can see why this kind of, this is a little bit uh, higher up there as far as product efficacy. And this is still a really great option. This is, I believe, a number one seller uh, when it comes to this type of product. This right here, I just feel like it's a notch above. And as I mentioned, it is going to like melt things away better. I feel like my skin is cleaner when I use this one. Uh, but I always use multiple little cotton pads and I do it multiple times. So I'm always making sure that I do this until my uh, skin is completely free of product and makeup. Either of these is a good option. But this one is a tiny bit better, in my opinion. 